the media has a truly insatiable appetite for celebrities that get into trouble with the law. And let's be honest, we can't get enough of it either. We're all on the edge of our seats. Will they get away with it? Or will they face the consequences just like anyone else would? From Drake's involvement in the XXX Tentation case to Martha Stewart's attempt to save some money and Christopher Walken's allegedly false confession in the Natalie Wood case, here are some celebrities that were involved in criminal cases. The latest addition to this list is, of course, the one and only Drake. Triple X Tentation, whose real name was Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, was murdered in June of 2018, and it has taken over four years for the case to finally get to trial. Three men are currently facing charges, including armed robbery and first-degree murder in connection to X's murder. A fourth suspect, Robert Allen, pled guilty in 2022. It's likely that he'll be testifying against the other three. But Drake was also facing a court order to testify. A lawyer of one of the accused had issued a motion that required Drake to deliver a deposition. Drake was being subpoenaed because there had been some clear public tension between him and X. Before X was killed, he had made a comment on social media, claiming that if he was ever killed, it would be Drake. X later claimed that his account had been hacked, but Drake was still being called upon to testify. However, when an attempt was made to deliver the subpoena to Drake's house in California on the 14th of February, 2023, Drake's guards closed the gates in the face of the serves and kicked the subpoena down the driveway. They said that they were not expecting any deliveries and we're not going to accept any either. Apparently, there was a slight misunderstanding and it was thought that Drake was being sued, but he was only supposed to deliver his deposition in regards to the murder through Zoom. Still, Drake didn't really want to participate in any of it, and it seems like he had successfully avoided it. But who knows what news will come out of the trial in coming weeks. However, Drake is far from the only one who has been in the headlights because of murder. O.J. Simpson was once famous because of him being a significant athlete, but many won't even remember that anymore. Given the fact that he was the prime suspect in the deaths of his ex-wife, Nicole Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. Nicole and Ronald were stabbed to death, and O.J. barely escaped being convicted of the double murder. Despite that, many were absolutely convinced that O.J. was guilty, and couldn't believe their ears when he was famously acquitted of all charges. Curiously, though, O.J. did end up serving a pretty long prison sentence after being found guilty of involvement in a botched robbery case. He's a free man these days, but he'll always be remembered for the murder of Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman. The next celebrity wasn't involved in quite as serious a case, but still had to face the consequences of his decisions. Wesley Snipes thought that he could get away with not paying the government his taxes with some slick moves, but that didn't exactly go as the actor thought it would. Initially, Snipes was also booked and even tried on a felony count of conspiracy to defraud the government, and on the felony count of filing a false claim with the government. But he was acquitted of those, but he didn't get away with everything. He did serve three years for failure to file taxes and was finally let go in 2013. He's picked his career back up since then, but he probably won't be coming back to the Blade franchise. Speaking of fraudulent decisions, though, when someone says Martha Stewart, most people will think of the sweet old lady that knows how to make a good pie. Who wouldn't want Martha Stewart as their grandma? Martha apparently thought that her innocent old lady look meant she could lie to federal investigators about committing insider trading. But those federal agents have seen everything in their day, and being an old lady doesn't mean you can't lie. And so, Martha Stewart fell into a hot soup of a mess and landed in prison. According to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Stewart just wanted to avoid losing $45,673. She'd received the news that her company was under FDA license, and when her stockbroker told her stocks would crash, she thought she was being a smart cookie by selling all her 3,928 shares of her M-Clone systems. Stewart ended up being indicted by the government on nine counts, including charges of obstruction of justice and of securities fraud. It cost her $200,000, a hefty bill in legal fees, 
and wound up in prison for about five months and was under supervised release for another two years. Yeah, that probably wasn't worth the $45,673 she saved. It made for an interesting time in headlines, though. Someone who used to be more than familiar with unflattering headlines is Robert Downey Jr. In the early years of his career, he was arrested and thrown in jail several times for drug-related charges, which is no news to anyone. But did you know that he was also caught for trespassing? Yep. The Iron Man-to-be thought that he could waltz into someone else's home and take a nice nap on a stranger's bed in a state of complete inebriation, though he was probably just too far off his face to realize that he wasn't in his own bed. Either way, the actor spent a year in jail for the unfortunate slumber. But it was the starting point for the actor to turn his life around, so maybe it wasn't that bad of an experience after all. What if he'd simply gone home that night? Would he have continued down his self-destructive path? Would he still have been the one to cause the snap? I guess we'll never know. Which brings me to Christopher Walken, actually. The actor was involved in one of the most tragic cases in Hollywood, the truth of which is still not fully uncovered. I'm talking about the drowning of Natalie Wood in 1981. The actress allegedly slipped and fell off a yacht off the coast of Catalina Island and consequently drowned. Walken had been aboard the yacht at the time of the incident as well. But the actor has always claimed that he was asleep when the three-time Oscar winner, who was only 43 at the time, drowned in the cold, dark waters on Thanksgiving weekend of 81. But the circumstances surrounding Woods' death have always been suspicious, and there are people who continue to research her mysterious and untimely death to this day. In fact, the case was reopened in 2012. Walken was once again approached to answer some questions about that fateful night, but has rarely spoken publicly about what happened. Five years after Woods' death, he simply told people, I don't know what happened, she slipped and fell in the water. Walken isn't a suspect in the case, not a person of interest, but he can't deny that he has some involvement given the fact that he was on the yacht when she fell into the water. Woods' death was ruled an accident at the time, but the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department named her husband, Robert Wagner, a person of interest in 2018. So Walken will probably have to deal with the truth of that night sooner or later as well. And that's about it. From Drake's involvement in the Triple X Tentacion case, to Martha Stewart's attempt to save some money, and Christopher Walken's allegedly false confession in the Natalie Wood case, these were some celebrities that were involved in criminal cases.